back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, we have been waiting for the bearish move in gold and silver but that has yet not happened. It looks like that we are going to see the first signs of a bearish move so I'm going to share the analysis with you for gold and silver. Um, we're, for now we're just only going to discuss gold chart alright um, and I'll see if we can quickly uh, look at the silver chart as well. So I'm not sure w what you're looking at the chart right now and what, what you're making up of the chart as far as Elliott Wave uh, analysis is concerned. But I'll share my analysis with you guys. Okay. We can, uh, alright, first of all, the worst thing that we can see is definitely we are seeing a clear five wave pattern. So we can see that, okay, there is a possibility that this whole structure is a complete structure of five wave structure. We can call it as a wave one and two and three and uh, four right over here and then we have five uh, we have five ending all the way over here okay and we'll I'll get into how I'm thinking that wave five is about to be completed so we can go on on the next uh, hourly chart to see what's happening on a smaller time frame okay within the fifth wave I think that there's a good possibility that we are actually seeing a truncation happening it's rare but I think it's happening so this is wave 1, we can call it the wave 1, and this is wave 2, a higher low, and then we have wave 3 right over here, and then we have wave 4 right over here, and then we have wave 5 right over here. I think that we are going to see truncation once again. Now let me go and uh, actually uh, cycle, we need to decrease base, it's not even, it's minor, yeah. Okay. And this one is primary. We can call it a primary. Just give me a moment. We can intermediate, not even primary. Okay, we can uh, call change the color as well so that it just becomes a little more clear. All right. So the chart that we are seeing right now is uh, I, I think that we are seeing an ending diagonal right over here, and we are going to see the bearish move that's been long due right now. How do we confirm that we are going to see actually the bear move, bearish move? We need to come out and actually complete this uh, wave, wave, wave across this cur particular uh, correction right over here. We can quickly label it right over here. Wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and wave 5 is an ending diagonal. We can change the color right over here and then we can change the it's not minor, it will be minute. Okay. Here we go. So we need to see the prices to drop below 1955 and that would mean that we are going to see stronger bearish move on the downside because the downside the price would be correcting the whole wave. Once the once that this five wave structure is complete and this five wave structure is complete, so we need to correct the whole trade right over to the whole wave starting from over here. So there's a good possibility that when prices fall back, there is so support can come around 1808. If not, then we can actually come and find the next target, which is the top of wave one right over here. So this is a second possibility, and that we can see the prices actually heading somewhere around 1720, 1730ish area. So April 7 is one of the modeling date that I got from uh, WD Can methods. I used some of his methods to come up with April 7 and which is not far away so I'm not sure whether we're gonna see it but that they definitely has popped up and there's a good possibility that if that is going to actually work out it means that move downward is going to be swift and that's also being indicated by the truncated wave and that's also being the truncated fifth wave and this is also being indicated by the uh, ending diagonal pattern so all of it is actually indicating that there is possibility that we are going to see a deep move and by that deep move, that move could actually be very strong. Uh, we can actually look at silver as well. So once again, the date for is April uh, 6th I gave you guys. Check that date once again. That's Friday, I checked out. April 7th. So April 7th is the Friday next. Not this Friday, but the next Friday. But if the pattern and the labeling is correct, it means that we are going to see sharper move downward in gold and silver. And that definitely will be an amazing buying opportunity for gold and silver as well. Let's have a look at silver if I can find the chart. Watch list and okay. 
now silver is showing a little different pattern that we are seeing in, in gold and that would actually mean that we are seeing wave 1 and 2 and wave 3 and wave 4 such that we are seeing a leading diagonal kind of wave structure right over here so this is what I'm right now looking at it and that means that the whole structure upward would be a leading diagonal you can call it as wave as the start of the pattern this is as wave 1 and this as wave 2 and this whole as wave 3 and this whole as wave 4 and given the amount uh, in, in the correction period in wave 4 we are looking for a stronger move upward it definitely would be an amazing trading up opportunity on the bullish side so you might want to wait for the price to actually come down right over here and then go bullish uh, that would be simply a managing trading opportunity we can use uh, percentage tool right over here so f the first time we came down for the whole correction one two and three the first time we came down we uh, we, t we touched uh, 62.5 and with the with the price of uh, uh, there is an opportunity that I've seen in silver and I think there is a good possibility that we are going to see something like this so we can actually see a double bottom right here there is a possibility that we can actually see a double bottom so you keep that in mind as well and uh, the first thing that we can see is that the price is found a support exact support right over here so could we be the next one right there is a possibility that the target for silver could be the next bar right over here so uh, once again these are nine equal division of wave one two and three basically the whole move I'm uh, looking at it and I can see that there is some sort of um, the ratios working out in within the correction so anyway we are expecting a sharper move in uh, correction downward in gold towards the bearish side and a sharper move in silver however the larger pattern that we are seeing is uh, different uh, in silver and in gold wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye